Welcome to the channel. I'm just out here on my early morning Pokemon run. Got my Pokemon trainer t-shirt on. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to upgrade your RK2020 firmware onto a bigger memory card. And we're gonna get into that right after this. So let's get started. Things you're gonna need, you're gonna need this USB SD card adapter. You're gonna need your new micro SD card. And I'm using a Microsoft Windows 10 PC. I do not know how it works for Mac users, so I'm really sorry about that, guys. Let's move on. Software you're going to need. You're going to need to download Linux File System for Windows by Paragon Software. You're gonna also need to download Belena Etcher Portable 1.5. And you're also going to need to download the firmware that you wanna flash your memory card to. I will leave all the links in the description below. When you do come to downloading these softwares, your Belena Etcher will come on here. And the, I've already downloaded it already as you can see, but the one you want to click is the portable version and then you want to go ahead and download that. For the Linux file system, you want to download this free trial version here. You want to get that downloaded. And for your software, the page will look like this. It's by uh, YGitHub. And if you scroll down to here, the one you want to download is this one right here. 377 megabytes, Emelec Odroid Go Advanced, and it will be this one, this image here. This is the one you want, okay? Once you've got all of those downloaded, we now want to move on to flashing the actual memory card. So what you want to do is you want to insert your micro SD card. So it's obviously going to be blank. There's nothing on it. And just so you can see, it is a 64 gig that I'm working with right here. Okay, so once your Emilec 3.5 is downloaded, it's going to come as a zipped up file. What you're going to need to do is go ahead and download WinRAR if you haven't got it, and then extract it. Once that's extracted, you can just, I've just extracted it to the uh, desktop here. And that's that's the image file that we're going to be flashing onto the memory card. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up Belena Etcher. Okay, once Belena Etcher is opened up, we want to then go and click flash from file. I'm going to go and find the image that, I, that I'm intending on flashing to my SD card. I'll put it in desktop and it's in this folder right here. That's the one we click and we click open. Make sure you're selecting the correct mass storage device. You don't want to go and start flashing unnecessary things. So if you're unsure, just go in there and check it and make sure you change it to the appropriate drive you wish to flash. Click continue and then we click flash. We just go, we just go ahead and accept that. At this point, you might start to see some windows popping up. I'm letting you guys know this. Do not interfere while it's doing the flash. Do not close any, anything down. Just leave what you see on the screen as it is until this is 100% completed. It's quite easy to, for it to just stop and then you'd have to start the process all over again. It means you'd have to wipe your memory card and then start again. So just let this finish its process undisturbed. <laughs> Okay, now this is what it looks like when it's complete. If you've got another one you want to flash, you can also do that as well. It says it's successful, so that's that part done. We can now close this window down. So now at this point, what we want to do is remove the micro SD card from the drive, and we now want to pop that into our RK2020 devices to unpack and just to sort all of those files out. So we're going to do that right now. Right, so taking the micro SD, I'm now going to plug that into my um, RK2020. And let's see how it worked out. Give this the These things are so fiddly, man. Anyway, that's in. Let's turn on the device. Seems all good. If it corrupts, it will usually tell you that from the get-go. See that there? So it's unpacking all the necessary files. 
checking, resizing, doing this thing, partitions, all of that stuff is doing it here now. Takes a little while to start off. Let's reset itself. Today is good. There we go. We're moving now, finally. And there you have it. Uh, it's got no games on there. Obviously, we've just flashed it. You can't put the games on directly after you after you flashed it that won't work you have to once you flash the micro sd you have to put that inside your device so it can unpack the files now that's done i can turn it off and then add games um, i do have a video to show you how to add games so if you just check in the playlist it's in the description below my rk2020 playlist it will show you there how to add games and there you have it that is how you upgrade your system firmware onto a bigger memory card be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one peace